of AF things. Hence, oh, I just dumped my pumpkin spice latte. Oh. Hey guys, so I'm so excited because I'm doing a fall themed video. Comment down below what is your favorite fall food ever. Like, do you like pumpkin pie? Do you like pumpkin seed thumbs up this video if you love food. I love food. Surprisingly, I'm not the biggest pumpkin spice lover, so I haven't tasted any of these foods I'm about to show you except for the pumpkin spice latte, but I'm just gonna taste it because it's like festive. Yeah. I'm low-key, high-key, really excited to taste all these things for you guys, and I'm gonna give you guys like a rating if I recommend it for the fall time. I got a FabFitFun package the other day, so I'm gonna unbox it with you guys. Thank you to FabFitFun for partnering with me on this video. I've seen so many people on Instagram, like all the bachelor girls and guys even, unbox this. FabFitFun just released their fall box and I'm so excited to see what's inside. Each box is $49.99 but has a value over $200 but you can actually get $10 off with my code Alexa May, so it's actually like $39.99. So you can use my code Alexa M. I will leave everything in the description box, so make sure to go check it out. This stuff has like really, really good quality stuff. Fat Fit Fun is a seasonal subscription box with full size product, which is awesome because I've noticed with most subscription boxes that it's like mini size slash travel size products. So let's open this. P.S. Like how cute is this packaging? I love festive AF things, hence, oh, I just, Dumped my pumpkin spice latte all over. Yay! How does everyone else open it so nicely? This packaging is A plus. I'm so excited. Even the little like sticker is open. First thing I see in here is this blanket. No, it's a cozy wrap. It's really soft. I feel like you could like take this like on road trips and stuff. Next thing we have in here is this jewelry holder and the packaging. It's just really cute. This is so cute to put like your rings on and stuff. Ooh, yes. So cute. Ooh, okay, so we got some coconut charcoal teeth whitening. Okay, next thing we have is this private party. Gym and juice. Is that what it says? Totally gonna take this to yoga and be all cool like that. Mud mask. The packaging is so nice. You guys, there's so much stuff in here. We also have some cleansing cloths. Stay clean. And then we have, this is a matte color pencil stick. Oh my god, there's two sides to it. So there's a glossy side. And then there's the color side. Oh yes, this is a cuticle oil. I want to like save money and do my nails at home more, so this is awesome. And then we have a belt, which I don't have a lot of belts either. Yes. This is a hot and cold gel pack. Ooh. After a long, cold day, just put this hot pack on you and you're perfect. So if you guys want to check out Bath at Fun, I totally recommend it. If you guys want to use my code AlexaM, you can get $10 off your first box, so it would be $39.99 with $200 worth. This is like a $200 worth value, so that's a really good deal. And yeah, thank you for having fun. Now I think it's time to try some like pumpkin spice foods. I am really excited, but kind of nervous for some of them because they look kind of sketchy. I feel like everyone has tried these pop tarts, but I haven't. I'm just like not the biggest pumpkin eater, pumpkin spice, pumpkin flavored eater. I was a pop tart like, lover back in the day. Okay, that's good. This is like really good. If you guys like pop tarts and you like pumpkin flavored things, you're gonna like these because they taste really good. Like your breakfast, breakfast goals. Perfect little chilly fall day. I'm gonna rate these an 8.5 out of 10. Okay, now I'm going to try the famous pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks. I'm really confused because I didn't get a holiday cup. I thought they had like the orange cups this year and I saw people tweet them and Snapchat them and Instagram them and I didn't get it. I just got a normal one but it's all good. I've had this before actually but it was like five years ago. The last time I actually had it was a year ago but it was iced. It wasn't like a hot traditional pumpkin spice latte so I'm gonna try it again. I just want to take this to like the pumpkin patch and pick apples and drink my pumpkin spice latte. If you haven't tried this, go get yourself a pumpkin spice latte just once. You have to do it once a year. I'm going to rate this a 9 out of 10 because it's really, really good. Cheers! Next thing I have are pumpkin spice chocolate chips. So I've never had these before and I'm curious to see if they actually taste like pumpkin spice. So 
These are sitting in my car for five days. Okay. I don't like that. Okay, I don't really like these. Even it smells kind of weird to me. I'm gonna rate these like a three out of 10. I would not prefer these. I don't recommend these. Oh my God, pumpkin spiced almonds. Those are my favorite foods. I said no one ever. give that one a 3 out of 10 as well. Maybe like 2.5. I don't like that at all. Next, I was so excited to find this. This is Boom Chicken Pop Popcorn. No, Pumpkin Spice Kettle Corn. I'm a big fan of Boom Chicken Pop, so I'm really excited. So here we go. Oh, I just dropped it. Is this like one of those things where you can't stop eating it? I'm gonna give this a 9.5 out of 10 or 10. I don't know. It's really good. You guys really need to try this for the fall time. Oh my god. Next we have the famous pumpkin spice Oreos. I feel like Oreos have every flavor you can imagine. Ooh, that satisfaction though. These are really good. They taste more like cinnamon. I would probably give this a 9 out of 10. This is the thing I was really nervous about and I was like really nervous to get this and it is Pumpkin spice latte. The reason I'm really nervous about this is because it was sitting on the shelf and it was also sitting in my car for like five days. Um, so what's in this? Not milk, obviously. Okay, what is in here? Reduced fat milk? Why was this sitting on the shelf? Like, it doesn't taste that bad, but that's, like, because I know it was sitting on the shelf, I would probably give this for taste, like if I didn't know it was on a shelf, I would probably give it like a 6.5, no, 7 out of 10 because it's really not that bad. It tastes exactly like the normal pumpkin spice latte, but not hot. The next thing we have is the pumpkin spice cookie spread, and this reminded me of like cookie butter. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, no. No, no, no. What do you even put this on? Crackers? Oh, I don't know. Like, this is the worst one, I think. I would probably give this, like, a 2, no, a 1.5 out of 10. No, no. Frosted mini wheat. I'm not the biggest mini wheat here. Maybe I'll like these. They're not bad, um, but they're not good. So, I'm gonna give this, like, a 5 out of 10. They're not horrible, like... They're better than like the almonds, the chocolate chips, and the cookie spread that I just showed you. So I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this fall themed video and found it entertaining to watch me eat all these really gross slash really good foods. If you guys wanna see more of these, make sure to thumbs up. Also thank you so much to Fabric Bond for sending me their seasonal box. Use my code AlexaM for $10 off your first box. I totally recommend it. And I actually think I'm doing some fall related things and I'm gonna wear the scarf and the lip color. I will leave everything for that down below to go check out and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Give me out. Take it back to the basement Where I herp on the